You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. Oh, what does this say?
I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. It is a pleasure to meet you. I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. A well-organized pack is my specialty. I'll see to it your burdens are shared between us pawns. It will be an honor to serve by your side. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is, when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar illness that imperils the lives of those around us. At first, we are only restless and excitable, but in time we become so unruly that even the Arisen holds no sway over us. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. We cannot break it from this side. Really? Now? I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumor. 
Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is I learned of a forgotten riftstone in this area during my time beyond the rift. We've got goblins! No means to wait our enemy's weakness. I grant you roaring flame. I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Tis of dire import we unmask the false sovereign. To that end, we must travel to Vermin's eastern edge. Methinks I know the general destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, 
Jesus. Find place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Is pleasantly cool. Here, what with the canopy overhead? Let us hope we make it through without incident. You have my support. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. I can find a My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a minute. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Look there. I espy another statue. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it.
We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Let us utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Have you a different destination in mind, Master? Very well. I want you roaring flame. I would never have imagined that a monster would be put to use like this. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. It is not what I expected. Achieved remarkable synchronicity. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Would anyone care to push?
I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? I'd fain lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. We have reached our destination. Ah, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. We've little need for a campsite at present. Tis enough to make camp only when the need arises. I will protect you. Let my magic be a weapon with the fury of the elements. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice.
raised to our advantage. Are you leaving? Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. I grant you fire flame. What befalls one who lets down their guard? Over here, if you please. Following along, I trust. Take care not to lose sight of me. Very well. I shall go on ahead. You there. Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. That man just now seems rather on edge. What could he have seen here to inspire such suspicion? I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. The Arisen decide- Well met, sir. How might I be of service? In my line of business, patience is key.
Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. An investment made for safer travels can hardly be called extravagant. I take it you're the outsider my lord mentioned. How do you know to expect you? I couldn't tell you. Why not ask him yourself? You'll find him in the manor atop the on hill. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Greetings. I must say I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the thief master. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont. And you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops. I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye. Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, and do with it what you will. The Maester's teaching is yours, Arisen. I dare say there's no truer sign of mastery, nor better reward for your efforts. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own.
I've seen you about. You the outsider? My lord spoke of you. Come on, follow me. I've something real nice to show you. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Whatever could you want from me? I'm in no mood for a chinwag, thank you. be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? Arthur. <laughs> Tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. You would know of our village? Is there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like, sir. Is a letter most inscrutable, and I fear it will remain as such if we cannot find another piece to this puzzle. I shall return. Is there aught else you care to ask? Beg pardon? 
Why would you ask such a thing? A letter. Oh, you've made quite the discovery. Brass means imitating someone in Thieves' Cant. This letter means to say someone's taken on such a request. Naturally, I can say nothing as to the who or what of the arrangement. I'm sure you understand. Is there aught else you care to ask? I take care then. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. We shall remain here.
You made it after all. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. He was one of us, but he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Methinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Anyway, most visitors, we send them packing with a tr We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as this. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then.
So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to... No doubt you're dazzled by my charms. They all are. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. We ought to have enough supplies to last us a while now. Right you up. That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent find. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you.
Do come again. Say, do I know you from somewhere? The rules at your neck. My feet always take me here. Don't take the night watch you desperate. The one we seek isn't here. Perchance, we've come at the wrong time. The current hour ill suits our progress. Let us visit an inn or make camp and set out again later. I know of nothing that demands your immediate notice. Fair travels, Arisen. I shall remember you, always. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. T'was a fine adventure we shared. May we meet again. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Was a chimera I was tasked with battling, a ferocious and terrible beast. 
I'm in no hurry to face one again. Up we get. We can expect a busy night. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces. And all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deezer. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. 